In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a sparkline. A sparkline is a tiny chart that you can use to display over your widget, providing visual representation of your data. Typically, you use sparklines to show trends in a series of values, such as seasonal increases or decreases, economic cycles, or to highlight maximum and minimum values. As you see in the widget here, we have some data and then a sparkline. How did it get there and what does it represent? Inside the editor, we see a sparkline object. This object contains a simple class, sparklines, and some basic inline CSS for designing the look and feel of our sparkline. Additionally, we can see data points that determine the shape of our sparkline. I can change these numbers manually, however, instead of hard coding these numbers, it's usually more practical to reference your data, which you can do by using the variable spark and then referencing some of the data in your panel here, such as total sales. Now, whenever this data changes, the sparkline is updated. And to make your dashboards truly interactive, you can also embed actions into your blocks widgets. Actions can be anything from light boxes, open URLs, and even submit buttons that send emails. In our Sparkline widget, we have a button that when clicked opens a URL. While this action is simple, you can use the functionality to perform all sorts of actions when a button is clicked. If we look in the editor, we can see that all you need to do to set it up is create an action object with the type open URL, the text you want to display in your button, and the URL you want to open. In the configuration tab, you can modify its look and feel under actions. For example, let's change the button here to red. As you can see, creating actions in Sparklines is super easy and super useful in SciSense Blocks.